What's up everybody? My name is Ryan Doris. I'm an elite USAPL powerlifter. Everybody knows how to squat, bench, and deadlift. I'm here at PowerTech headquarters today to teach you guys just a few cues on how to go in, get your lifts better, stronger, have no fear, and how to focus on the task at hand. Today we went through the squat, bench, and deadlift. I'm gonna show you just a few cues that you can remember to focus on as opposed to being afraid and thinking about the lift. We're gonna start with the squat. One of the most important things about the squat is to remember your cues. Remember that word, we're gonna use that word cues. A cue is something to focus on in a small portion of the lift. As opposed to thinking, I need to squat this whole thing from start to beginning, focus on this second to the next second until the next phase. We're going to chop it up in pieces for you to master of the cue at hand and not overwhelm yourself thinking about the weight, thinking about how heavy it is, thinking about a PR. The first thing we're gonna do on a squat is really basic. We're gonna center ourselves in the bar. The way we do that is we simply just drop our shoulders, the shoulder width, we're gonna put our hands out and grip the bar naturally to our natural width. From there, we're just gonna slowly scoot ourselves and make our chest make contact with the bar. When you make contact with the bar, you'll notice that your foot position needs to be adjusted just slightly to get under the bar. What we're gonna do, we're going to scoot ourselves a little forward with our feet until we look down visually and we see that our foot is about halfway over the bar. This doesn't feel like a very natural position. You will feel like you're gonna fall back, but trust me, that's the position that we need to be in. The reason why you want to feel like you're going to fall back is because we're going to slowly lower ourselves, staying center under the bar and going into your position. Now, your position may be either a high bar position or your position may be a low bar position. How you determine that is simply what feels better. Don't make it more complex than that. When our foot is over the bar and when our position is under the bar in either high or low position, we are going to rack the bar out straight up. We're going to use the cue, pop the bar out of the rack. If your feet are in the position that I told you, if you're centered in the position that I told you to be centered in, all you need to do is simply just take your hips and hinge it forward. You don't need to stand the weight up, you simply just need to thrust your hips forward a little bit and you will efficiently get the bar out over the rack. Once we have the weight stood up, we don't need to wait there all day. We need to get out of the rack as fast as possible, but as controlled as possible. We're gonna do what's called a three-step walkout. A three-step walkout is simple. We're efficiently trying to get out of the rack as quickly as possible and as controlled as possible. When I say a three-step walkout, I mean that, three steps. We're going to mimic and replicate that every time. Sometimes you may take five, sometimes you may take two. We're gonna do three from here on out. The first step is simple. Once we've racked out and we have the weight on our back, the first step with your dominant foot, we're going to glide it back. It's a small step back. We're going to step, settle the weight, not have anything shaky. Once that is good, we can take our next step, which is our left foot. We can set it out to our width. Once the weight is settled, you simply take your right foot and you can move it horizontally to gauge how much width or closeness you need left to get in your perfect position of the squat. Once our rack out is finished, we wanna make sure that we don't rush into the squat. We stay patient, we stay calm. A few things to do before we squat, we wanna confirm that we have a neutral head position, meaning we're not looking too far up in the sky, we're not looking too far low at the ground. Not having a neutral head will compromise our lumbar spine position. The first thing that we want to do is make sure that we're not doing a knee bend. A squat is not a knee bend. The start of the squat is a hip break. A hip break is simple. We're lowering ourselves gently into our heels with the weight. As we descend the bar, we're not just going to guess what's going to happen. When we start out this movement, you can feel the weight is in your center of mass. Center of mass meaning the average of the weight is over the middle of your foot, the thing that I mentioned earlier from the start of this. As you descend, your job is to make sure to keep your torso in your spinal position locked, braced, and as we descend the weight, 
we need to control to keep that weight in the middle of our foot or in the center of our body as much as possible, which will result in a straight up and down bar path as we descend and ascend in our squat. Squatting deep is not bad for your knees. When we squat, we want to have our depth to have our hip crease meet at the top of our kneecap. There's no need to squat much lower than that. There's no need to squat much higher than that. Ensuring a proper depth, make sure that we're activating our quads, our glutes, our calves, and our hamstrings. If you think that I have to get the five reps, you're gonna rush to get the five reps. Think of your reps as intervals of one. If you have to do five, think one, five times. This way, we can ensure that every rep is getting a fair chance. There are no middle reps that are not getting the same quality that the first one got and maybe the third one didn't get. We want each of these reps to get a fair amount of effort. Thanks again for joining us at PowerTech headquarters. My name is Ryan Doris. If you guys want a little more content from me, you can find me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is the Natty Pro. If you want to email me, uh, you can go through my website, which is fortiseq.com. That's F-O-R-T-I-S-E-Q.com. Thank you guys again. Hope you learned a lot today.